Well, we've always been talking about if we can get the bats moving, a lot of these games in the past would be a different story. And I thought today we saw a lot more hitters start putting it together. We faced a great team in Charlotte and two really strong pitchers. And just it was so cool just to see us more relaxed at the plate. And also defensively, we had a couple miscues, a couple walks. Those all resulted in a couple runs, you know, unearned runs. But um, we stayed with it. And I think what a great combination when you get K-Love pitching and then bringing in Yoder. I thought that was really effective. And boy, Kaylin Yoder had a big strikeout, you know, against their big number two hitter um, in the seventh inning, which was really awesome. So, yeah, there was battling there. There was some frustration with, you know, thinking there some pitches or strikes or not. And so that also was another internal battle uh, that Yoder overcame. And I thought it was a, a really strong and educational moment for both the two freshmen. Yeah, Mary Claire Wilson, MC. Boy, she's been hot on fire over the past couple of weeks. And, you know, Rupi has just consistently been making it happen at the plate. And I have her number one and, uh, you know, MC two because those two can really ignite the team. And it's been awesome. I mean, I thought Rupi had another home run there. But, boy, you know, as a line shot hit to the, the, the white tape at the top of the paddings, you know, but a couple doubles. And MC's home run was – there was no doubt on that one. And uh, she, that's why she stopped slapping because <laughs> she noticed she's gotten a, a lot of, uh, you know, power and um, it's great to see that happen too. Uh, talk, talk real quick about the, right after, right after that double, it all went, almost went out, the ball that um, after review, it was confirmed that, that there was no tag. How, how close was that play? Yeah, it was very close. I couldn't see for sure because the third baseman, but what happened, you had Rupi on second base and MC hit a, a rocket back to the pitcher. It hit her foot or shin. And, and of all the places, it went towards third. Now think if you're a runner at second base, you see the ball hit up the middle, you're taking a huge jump. You already have a huge lead, you're at second and you're moving more. And then the ball starts going in front of you. So Rupi just couldn't stop, you know, the momentum that she had and went for it. So that was a great call that went our way and it was reviewed to make it solid. So that was awesome because those two end up um, scoring the runs that we needed in order to win. And uh, speaking of that, uh, Charlotte had a shift on for Sierra on that play, and she hit it right past it. Uh, how, how big of a hit was that? And yeah, that's a gamble, you know, defensively when you move in certain places and play the odds. So Sierra coming up with that hit was fantastic. And, um, you know, it's uh, there was a couple shifts. I think Megan Fortner came up and hit a ball that the first baseman had to go and get to because the second baseman was shifted over to second. And she outran the the pitcher, which you see in baseball a lot. You don't really see that a lot in softball. But that worked for our advantage as well. So um, I love that where, you know, you got to hit it where they're not. And the team was doing it. And just really, there's a lot of freedom today. You know, I tell the girls all the time, I shared it after the game, you know, just don't worship the sport. Let the sport be our worship back to the Lord who's given us these gifts and opportunities. And when they play with freedom like they did, even though it wasn't a flawless game um, on both sides, you know, it was just the nice battle that you brought up, Joe, that was, uh, it was great to see us and we need to feel it. Uh, thanks, Thank you. God bless everyone. Go Flames!